الحمد للہ رب العالمین وصلاۃ وسلام اشرف الانبیاء و مرسلین نبین محمد صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم ویلکم ٹو انسپائر بائی اسلام جسٹ لائک ایوری ادر ویک ماشاء اللہ وی برنگ اسپیشل گیسٹ ٹو آر شوز اینڈ ٹو نائٹ وی ہیو سم ون ہیئر فور اور انٹر فیت ہی از شی از اسپیشلائز ان انٹر فیت ماشاء اللہ اینڈ ہی از نان ادر دین انا میری ویلکم ٹو آر شو تھینک یو یو جسٹ ریسنٹلی فنیشڈ یور ماسٹرز ان social justice human right yes and you're a salvation army officer uh-huh. you know is everything's going for you thank you and uh, we've been working together for a very long time mm-hmm. and doing lots of interfaith we, we could call it a kind of act or act of kindness um tell us about yourself why do you enjoy doing interfaith work and um, i enjoy interfaith work cuz I I think we should respect each other. I think we should love each other and we should therefore respect where each other come from. And if that means that we're of different faith, that's okay. We we are we are unique and we should respect each other and honor each other. But I also think sometimes often actually while walking alongside other faiths, there's a richness that can be found in understanding more about your own faith but also about others. Um so I really enjoy it. It uh, brings me great joy. Show us your, tell us about your experience in the mosque. But you've been working with the Muslim community for a mm. very long time. So sh- tell us about your experience when we met in our mosque, you came to it. How was it for you? So Isa and the mosque are brilliant at inviting us to uh, multi-faith iftar. So during Ramadan, uh, we're invited to come and uh, come together as maybe Jewish or Muslim and Christian communities. Uh, I'm sure there might be other faiths coming alongside and I've been able to go around and tour um I've been and see different parts of the mosque all parts of the mosque have been invited as a as an equal to come and uh, and then to share food together as you've break, broken iftar and um yeah that's been really special What was your expectation before you even going inside the mosque What was your expectation what were you expecting um I didn't know how I would be necessarily uh viewed as a woman. I I knew that possibly I might need to respect that more or less and I didn't know how that was going to be viewed. Um I wondered what maybe the outline of that might look like. Uh-huh. I didn't know. Um I had done some study around multi a uh, different face uh before so I had some I dare about this Muslim faith but not a lot so just ready to see and explore and experience Okay let's test your knowledge then <laughs> <laughs> You're in the spotlight Um you've been um working or you've been friend with the Muslim for mm. a very long time Um what do you think they believe ah I know you believe in one god Allah uh I know you have five pillars in your Faith. I know one of them is to do Hajj. I know one of them is to have charitable acts. I'm not sure about the other three. I've forgotten. I used to know that. <laughs> so um, I know you pray uh, okay. a lot. Uh, I have a friend called Rixana who works in uh, prisons, and uh, she um, has developed this hard spot on top of her. head because she has prayed so often and she would say this is my adoration to wow. to to God. You mean she's got a uh, dark mark here because yes. of her um putting her head in the uh, in the in the prayer. Yeah. Wow. So um yeah, so I've experienced that I've yeah, have knowledge that you supreme at um that you face it in a, in the direction of Mecca um Wow. So, yeah, those are things I uh know that there is um and have provided before um a prayer diary so that people can know what time to pray because it changes. Yeah, tell me about this one. You remind me of that. Uh, I remember one time you actually um called me and texted me. I I said, "Do you I'm looking for a prayer mat." And mm. I was thinking, "Prayer mat for you? Why?" <laughs> in, the, in my head, I was saying, "Well, what does she want prayer mat?" Is she And then you explained to mm. me there's a group of people and they are staying in, in in some hotel and they don't have any prayer mat. Hmm. So that was um And how big was the group first? So that was just after Grenfell had happened. Um we had a um official 
uh, venue where the those affected by the Grenfell disaster could come and that was actually where the coroner met it's where um, crews met which is a grief cancelling group it's where Red Cross met it was the official centre and they needed a multi-faith prayer space to be provided for any uh, resident and family member uh, who would be accessing that centre and um, so and we were given very little <laughs> uh, notice literally the day I text you was literally to say help because I had to set it up by the next morning <laughs> and um, so I asked you for Prema, I asked you for Prema uh, for Quran which you all provided and actually actually met a need of mine because she said also it's 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 Ramadan let's in the mosque pre uh, break iftar together wow. and so I was like that means I don't have to think about food tonight while I'm prepping for all of these things either. So how did you know to, how to put it their uh -huh. prayer met, they need Quran. I actually they need, um, how did you do that one? looked on an app, found an oh app God. that found the is it Quibbler? Yeah, Quibbler. Yeah, yeah. yeah um, at direction and then used the compass to. Uh, do work. you think that we worship the Kaaba or do you think we just uh, this is their prayer direction? That's a prayer direction. I yeah, don't think you worship. You. A lot of no. people think we pray or we worship the Kaaba. We don't no. actually. No, no. Um, that's 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 another. Uh, Listen, um, how did they, was they, were they surprised when you actually made a, a room for them to pray for the Muslims? Were they surprised that you would do this? Did you knew before I, or no? Um, no, we were asked, I think actually the Sai Shinami have a background of being able to provide for multi-faith. So this uh, request had come from actually Russell Squares, so the bombing in 7-Eleven, where we provided a list actually we used to ring people so we used to ring imams and and rabbis and other christian faiths and and seek when people needed unfortunately last rites or or support at, at morgue or and so that come from there um then my uh, we have divisional commanders like bishop <laughs> in the Saishan army and she said amri knows how to pr do prayer stations and i think she understands multi-faith so can you and then she asked me to do the multi-faith prayer room wow wow so i'm sure actually i'm sure when they saw um, especially in ramadan they're going through a really terrible mm. time they lost everything they had they lost their loved ones mm. and now you actually provided them with their prayer mats uh, with the quran mm. and with tasbih i mean it, this is, uh, you know, uh, I'm speechless. I mean, that, I, I don't know how, uh, if that someone done that to me, mm. I was talking to my wife, you know, and I Mary called me to do that. And she said, really? Mm. And I said, can I take my personal one from home? Mm. The prayer, it's important. I want to show something. Yeah. Thingy. And that's, that was really, really special. Um, another time, I think you said regarding in, you know, um, there was a, prisoner, uh, that's what you work for, uh, mm. that um, his father passed away and actually you took him to the mosque to show his par his dad passed away. Mm. How did that work? How, how was it for you? So it was during Ramadan. I knew that everyone was fasting. Um, I always think it quite amazing that everyone is fasting because especially uh, recently uh, Ramadan's in the middle of the summer, it's hot and, and just the dedication that shows and uh, this gentleman's dad had passed away and I knew that people weren't wanting to... Exude. So we're talking about Ramadan past this year? Yeah, the this one, year. One gone, yeah. Um, and uh, he, I knew that the, you know, it, it, well, I, I thought if I was fasting, I wouldn't want to be exuding too much energy ex in excess. So I knew the imam was down in the mosque. So I said, oh, why don't I go and get the guy, the gentleman from, from his cell and take him to the mosque? Um, and so then I exuded the energy of going up because I knew he was on a level that would mean climbing stairs and then taking him down to the mosque and then uh, he could meet the imam and receive the pastoral care he needed at that time. That guy who took you took him to see mm. his dad, what did, he, did, he, did he have a chat on the way? What did he say? Did he say anything? Uh, he was grateful that I was picking him up. Uh, do you, do you remember the words? Because this is no, something very, I can't remember the it's words. very unique. Can you imagine that? Very um, unique. I, he had to describe to me that his, his, his mother had also 
um, passed away a couple of years beforehand. Um, and he was grateful. I can't remember the words particularly, but I can remember his thankfulness that he uh, that he had the opportunity to go and pray uh, concerning his father's death. Do you know why we pray, Muslims? See, I'd be interested to know, because for <laughs> me, it would be for a us, communication just, to God. Yes, for us, uh, the Prophet said, we show our greatness, you yeah. know, um, that thankfulness to God, yeah. that you created me and you've given me everything. Mm -hmm. So he wants thanks how he wants it. So mm. we show our you know, he deserves our worship. Mm. He you totally know, does. He's given us everything. Yeah. I didn't ask for it. I didn't apply for my eyes. I didn't even, you know, actually he given it to me. Mm. So we show our thankfulness by praying and show our humbleness. Um, honestly, we have a lot of things in common, mm. uh, um, especially Abrahamic faith. Mm. Yes. We, we say Islam is not a new faith. Islam is it's the... Um, from Adam and Eve started, mm. Abraham, Moses, Jesus. We could say Jesus is our prophet. Mm -hmm. you know, we love him. Um, we follow his teachings. Yeah. Um, yes, of course, we don't agree that he's God. No. But we say he's um, one of our biggest prophets as well. Mm. He's going to come back again. His second return is coming back again. Um, when it comes to God, with the difference between us and Jewish is very similar. Mm. It's not difference. It's similarities are very different. So we believe... God is uncreated. Mm, totally. And we believe, um, because if someone creates God, that means the one who created is more powerful. Yeah, no, God is God. So we say uncreated. We, just like we made, I made the table. I don't have to be the table to mm. know how it works. So God created the universe and is outside the universe. And he's connected with us. He can see what we do, mm. everything he knows. He knows the um, unseen yes. future. No one knows, knows, knows that. He is the eternal. Yes. He's no beginning and he's always there. Alpha and the Mika. And every that's it. And everything else is has a beginning and end. Mm. So that's why we show our you know uh, thankfulness. We we appreciate what he has given to us. That's why we pray. Mm. And we don't believe. I know there is another misconception in Islam, uh, not Islam, uh, from people from other faith things that we um, worship because we don't want to go to hell. Mm. That's but how do you get this? It's, it's not based on work. Salvation is not based on mm. work, right? You get mercy. God, mercy will put you to paradise. Yes. Without his mercy, no one, no one will be ah. uh, justified. So he's merciful. Uh, um, yeah. And he wants us to show gratefulness and he can forgive. So every yes. time you get of your, uh, uh, your sin, yeah. you go and repent. You, and, and that's similar in the Christian it's true. faith. So we, because it, it's people would... I can remember someone who uh, had been um, had come to faith, and he'd had a very sketchy in Christian faith, and he'd had a very sketchy past, a very sketchy past. And people were like, "Oh, he's got a long way to go." And I was like, mm. <laughs> "If you want to show me, we we would use mercy, but we'd also use the word grace. And and uh, if you want to show me the workbook of grace, then please tell me because I haven't started. In as to yeah. say, you know, there isn't." You don't earn your right. No, 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 we don't. Only through the mercy. Yeah. That's what the prophet said, that mm. uh, you only go through the mercy. Mm. Even himself, I'm going to go through the mercy of God. Yeah. So we work to get his mercy. Mm. You know, it's like um, I do something, so he looks at me and he, he, you know, he's doing good work, so give him something. Mm. And if we don't do it, just, just believe in mercy only, it, does, it, it doesn't work as well. Yeah. So you work to get the mercy of God. Okay. And uh, in Islam, it's so simple to get um, repentance as well. You do something wrong, mm. you, you, you sincerely tell God that I've made a mistake, mm. please forgive me, and you're forgiven. Mm. And you don't do that again. Um, we've been doing a lot of things together, mm -hmm. especially on Sundays. Mm -hmm. A lot of people go to the church. Yes. <laughs> we have our breakfast, big, yes. amazing English breakfast. Uh -huh. I know I could say, Ian does an amazing job, especially when it comes to breakfast. Mm. Um, then we go out and do um, act of kindness. Mm. Tell us about this. This is quite important for our people to see how we work together. Yeah. So the um, usually the last Sunday in the month, uh, between February, November, February to November time, they we go out uh, to people usually doing gardening quite a lot, often gardening project, 
uh, to those who are in sheltered accommodation. So they've enjoyed their gardens uh, for a time, but their health or um, or just their time, usually their health though, has has meant that they can't enjoy their gardening so much anymore. But actually, they've got this garden, they've got this chance to go out and relax and enjoy their space. And and by us going out and and helping them tidy their gardens and to or even clear their gardens occasionally, it means that they've got the opportunity to enjoy that space that they have. And um, we go out together, we eat together at the start, that's really important actually to, to eat alongside each other and um, and then we go out together and as you, we've already you said we, 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 we see God in that, both of us, <laughs> all of us. Of course, he, he, he wants us to do a uh, a um, community work, yeah. helping others, yeah. you know, work for social justice, yeah. just like um, uh, recently you got your degree from. Um, when it comes to social justice, Islam says this is a worship. Mm. Yes. You do it for God, not for anyone yeah. else. Yeah. And when it comes to helping the special elders, it's more beneficial yeah. than anything else because they, they, they has given us everything. Oh, absolutely. And now it's their turn to take something yeah. back. And our expectation is the Muslims and Christians together going out and helping them. Mm making coffee for them, mm. tea for them. Mm -hmm. it's and it's amazing. those and it, it but it and we go and we're told at the start in Watkins who runs it, in Wendy Watkins running it really. And they'll go Don't forget Wendy. No, <laughs> don't forget Wendy. You and can't. um but it, it the Ian tends to give the debrief uh, uh, and they're kind of like you go because they have given permission for you to go into their gardens. You go be, and if at some point they just go, oh, actually, I'm really tired and, and I just need you to leave, um, then we, we yeah, leave because it's their space. Um, and we're, we're not doing it because we are in the right. It, we're actually serving them because, like you said, we, they, have, they have already given so much and we're just help giving back, actually, uh, a little bit of... I think They're connecting different. communities, especially in that age yeah. generation, I think is amazing. I remember yeah. one time when we went out for a gardening, there were loads of young Muslim, mm. uh, uh, young people came in, the yes. boys and girls, and we went together. I don't know, I think around about 40 probably. There was a lot. Was a that massive. Yeah. Can you imagine they're going to a, a people of different faith mm. and age and working with them voluntarily, you know, mm. just doing their gardening, mm. clearing and cleaning. Um, so this is this is a, a live training for them. Yeah, but it's also breaking down some perceptions that maybe each it said. So sometimes, unfortunately, youth can be seen badly, and that's not the case. And we had those very amazing volunteers who came out, youth, going, "This this is not who we are. We're not bad. We're not we're not good either. Not showing off, but this is who we are. This is you know this identifying." Beautiful. I think a lot of people, uh, um, I think we should come out and do stuff like this mm. that will make the, our community stronger. Mm. If they will it will make that we are actually uh, proud British. Mm. We need to show it, to be yeah. honest. A time of where a lot of Islamophobia or a lot of misquoting uh, um, Quran or a lot of extremism or whatever we name them are there, it's time to show who we really are. Mm. And that shows that we are here for everybody, not for just particular uh, one group yeah. of people. Um, you've been working um, with a lot of people from other faith and your own faith. Mm. Would you like to share any of your um, inspirational story with us that you made the difference in their life? Gosh, um, <laughs> so, um, because you are honestly, for me, you are inspirational. Yeah. I, uh, if I'm not making wrong, you are fostered when you were young. Uh -huh. The relationship you have with your foster parent. Oh, my adopted parents now. Yeah, adopted parents. It's amazing. Honestly, it's, it's, yeah. it's really, really amazing. I, I, I could see it, the loving between you guys mm. and him. And a lot of young people, a lot of people are actually making excuses. Oh, I didn't have a back, my background wasn't good. Mm. I had this, I had that. That's why I became this dealer or drug dealer or gangster. But you showed, no, it doesn't matter what background you're from. If you want to do it, you mm. could do it and you can achieve it. Yeah. And you're an example for that. And I would say that's from a space of, I have also been received a lot of love and care and a lot of direction that has, so my parents 
now have completely loved me. Uh, my grandma said to me, do you love because you didn't experience love at one point? And I said, no, I know the worth of it. Um, and I, I think some of that is the answer. I don't think that's the whole answer. But I have been surrounded by people who have loved me, whether I'm doing right or wrong. <laughs> How old were you first when you were adopted? Or, nine. Or nine years old? Uh, well, just nearly nine, nearly nine. So February, and I was nine in March. So, but uh, I lived with my parents since I was five, nearly six. Do you, um, I'm, sh I'm sure you will miss your um, uh, former parents, or yeah. uh, you would call it. Do you, how do you, how do you replace it? Replace it means, I know because they love you so much, you mm. don't miss them that much, I'm sure. Mm. But what lesson can we take from that? So I, this last year, actually last year, I was able to go and speak to a group of girls who are fostered currently uh, in Southwark area. And uh, we put on a pamper evening for them. So they got to do their nails, they got to do some craft, they had a meal together. And I was able to speak to them and, uh, and say, I, 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 we are all different. We all have different stories, but I get some of where you're at because I have been fostered and I've been adopted. So I, I, I'm in a similar space. But don't stop dreaming. Don't, but, and surround yourself by people, not who give you things to show their love, but but who love you regardless. Surround yourself with those people because those are the people who will continue to inspire you to dream. Um, and you can achieve, but you have to work hard, <laughs> right. but keep going. And, and that was probably one of my most, one of a precious time for me, let alone they're my hope. <laughs> but I was, I went away very happy. <laughs> very I fulfilled. think you deserve to be happy, yeah. honestly. Dear brothers and sisters, well, we don't have much time left. It was very inspirational from Anna Mary, the way she started and where she, you know, at the moment. And none of us got any excuses anymore. Just to say, look, I had a bad, bad, bad bit in my background, my parents, da, 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 no. I think we could do similar things, she's an example. And the way she shows her respect and love for her foster parents, amazing. I'm sure they also deserve to be showing. They have shown their heart and they're showing the love for her. We want to um, end up with a good note in the sense of we were talking about interfaith. Uh, we can do amazing things together. Mm -hmm. And we just need to go out and find the right people um, that will make us a better community, a strong community, and peaceful community. And Mary, thank you for time with us tonight. Mm -hmm. And, and you know, I really enjoyed it. And um, God bless you. And we need lots of friends like you, uh, especially in, in UK. Would you like to say the last word to our viewers? Anything? Um, I think that it's, well, working with the East London Mosque, I would love for other mosques to continue to conversation with that interfaith conversation. I know actually some of my conversation I've had with HMP Pentafil's uh, Muslim chaplains, they're like, oh, we want you to come to our mosque and come and discuss. So thank you for starting the conversation. Um, that was, that's been really inspirational. So Brilliant. thank you. Thank you, dear brothers and sisters, and I hope to see you again. You take care. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.